Okay, now read. That's what I'm doing for all my workouts. I had to change the grip here because it was putting too much pressure on my wrist. And now this, this feels great. Slow, controlled, and you squeeze when you come up, yes. I was a little lost here. I, I don't know what kind of position to be put in, if, if I was even like lifting weight right, which I wasn't. But now I got even out, you know what I'm saying? Do wrong on both sides, okay? Um, I found out that I actually had to be sitting down. Yes, good job, Amir, you're learning. But still didn't feel like I was doing it right. So I was like, hold up. Let me pull up my app. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Check this out real quick. Because, uh, yeah, okay. Got this. Swirl it early. Can't even lie, I was in some pain. This this was a good workout. And we're right back. And now again, I'm maxing out. Um, practicing great form, or good in this case. Yep. Oh yeah, that feels good. But you know what? It's a little too easy. So I was like, yeah, this cannot be right. Okay, I have to be doing it wrong. And yes. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, I was doing it wrong. That's okay. It's a learning experience, okay? Now, Amir, pick up those weights. Stop looking at yourself. Oh, that's how you want to do it? You want to turn? Turn, boy. Turn. There you go. Now, this hurt a lot more, so I knew I had to be doing it right. Good job. I'm definitely a hands-on learner, so just, like, looking at a picture, I'm not going to get it right. I was actually supposed to be putting, like, a lean into it, um, and instead I was just, like, holding on. Again, this is a new workout I, for me too. I didn't even hold on to it. Like, what are you doing? Um, didn't really feel correct. Look at me looking at it. Seemed like again. I was doing it right like, when I, I looked back at the up. videos. Like, um, I knew it. Super, super killer. It was like, look, obviously like, draining oh, me. You're supposed yes, to lean. I, like, yeah, the reason why you lean is because it gives you greater range really of motion. Sore. Tired today, but you know you still gotta get those workouts in, man. Mind over matter. Look like a dead body. There you go. Lifting them weights, boy. Oh, failure. That's what I'm talking about. That's failure. I do also realize sometimes I look like an idiot in the gym. Like, I'm doing a 360 just to, like, get different camera angles. But, you know, you just you just can't care, you know. Just put the camera up. Do your thing. I see a lot of people do this specific workout in the gym. Um, never really done it, so I had to change up the weight, hand position, um, as well as trying to keep my core slash abs engaged and really just pull down from there. So mind-muscle connection is vital in this one. But I was definitely feeling it. So this is actually, I'm going to start incorporating this workout to my ab routine. Um, because I was completely fatigued after this. And then actually at the end, I added a little twist to it as well um, to get the obliques going, the little V-line. So I like it. This was definitely one of my trying days. Um, Everything was new to me. The The workouts were new, the rep ranges, um, the weights, or I guess more so my, my mind capacity of what I thought I could do the weights at. Um, I'm finding now I'm a lot stronger than what I think or thought I thought I was, that I am, whatever. I'm a little sick right now too, so I'm stuffy and I'm like really pale. I get pale in the winter, but um, um, yeah, I mean, not every day is I'm gonna have not every day you're gonna have a great day and you have amazing lifts and like awesome form like no it's it's all it's all learning process you know, um so one day ten years from now, well I'm I'm gonna still be making some mistakes but like hopefully less. <laughs>